Hi, I'm Gladys McGargle, a transplant coordinator registered nurse. I am going to walk you through the evaluation process for living kidney donors. To start, you will fill out a health history questionnaire at uchealthlivingdonor.org. Once that's complete, a donor coordinator will reach out to review your application, answer questions, and discuss the next step in this process, which will be to collect a preliminary set of lab tests. These results will be reviewed by our team. If you are able to proceed, your coordinator will schedule you for an evaluation with the living donor team. Your day of evaluation will include a consultation with a living donor nephrologist, who is a kidney specialist, a transplant surgeon, your nurse coordinator, a psychologist, a social worker, and dietitian. You will also be assigned an independent living donor advocate. During the evaluation, further testing will be done to make sure living kidney donation is safe for you. These tests include a physical examination, EKG, lab testing, and imaging of your chest and abdomen. Please note that some testing may lead to the need for additional examinations. Your coordinator will be your main point of contact for any additional tests that are advised. Evaluation day can be very long, so we encourage you to read the consent forms prior to your visit, bring snacks, and have a loved one present for support. Once all your testing is complete, our transplant team will meet to discuss your results and decide if you can be approved as a donor. If approved, your donor coordinator will talk with you about next steps in the donor process. At this stage, it is possible to proceed as a direct donor or enter into paired exchange. There are many reasons that may make a donor unable to donate to their intended recipient. In these cases, your coordinator will discuss the paired exchange program with you. The surgery itself takes one to three hours. Post-surgery, you'll stay in the hospital for one to three days. It is important to understand that there are risks related to surgery. Some risks are related directly to surgery and can be minor, while others may affect you and your recipient. These risks will be reviewed with you in depth and we will provide many opportunities for you to ask questions. Our transplant team works hard to manage your pain after surgery, so please let the transplant staff know if you are in pain. The transplant team will see you one week after donation surgery to make sure you are healing well and to address any questions or concerns. It is important for the transplant team to know how you're doing in the long term, so we will require that you follow up with lab work at six months, one year, and two years after donation. Please note, it is a federal crime to be paid for your kidney. You cannot receive monetary or in-kind contributions for your donation. If you'd like more information, you can contact UNOS. As always, we are here to answer any questions you might have. To learn more, visit uchealth.org transplant.